Are there any constituency statements? I call the member for Braddon. Thank you. The member for Higgins can uh, contact their constituents right now and tell them there is absolutely no substance to that terrible fear campaign that they've now launched. And she can also explain. She can also explain. I didn't talk while you were talking. Have some manners. Uh, also, uh, can explain why uh, your, your, the opposition will oppose and have opposed uh, the uh, uh, income uh, superannuation uh, guarantee for low-income earners. So you can go and do that and keep yourself busy. Now, I'd like to be able to talk about a very important uh, announcement on the west coast of Tasmania, which is a beautiful, rugged. Uh, majestic area of Tasmania, uh, uh, between the areas of Queenstown, which is a major mining area, and the port of Strawn, which is now a major tourism centre, uh, there was a railway built in the 1890s called the APT, ABT Railway. Very special engineering went into the APT Railway. And uh, it was very, very important for the movement of minerals uh, out of the west coast. Now, in time, as the uh, mineral um, exploration uh, and production uh, dwindled and they found other means, particularly through road transport, to move those uh, minerals. Uh, the railway itself went into uh, uh, disuse and, uh, of course, was in great need uh, of uh, infrastructure development if it was to be used again. In uh, around 2002, uh, it received substantial federal and government funding to be rebuilt as a tourist icon, as a tourist railway. It has, has now international reputation uh, as a railway. It's beautiful, it's steam, it has that special engineering mechanism uh, to drive it. Unfortunately, over the 10 years, a lot of the infrastructure that was developed from 2002 has, uh, been, uh, has been found to be wanting. Also, there have been a number of natural disasters in the region and, of course, it's affected the infrastructure itself. So the federal group of hotels, which had the licence uh, for the railway, recently announced that they were withdrawing from it. Now, it needed $6 million for the infrastructure upgrade in order for that railway to keep going. And after much discussions and negotiations with my colleagues here in Canberra, and I thank the Prime Minister very, very much personally, and also the Minister for Transport, um, uh, Anthony Albanese, uh, we were able to secure $6 million for that upgrade. We asked the state government, and they've now committed $6 million of their own over four years uh, for the operational grant, and we're now looking for an operator. So now we've got a horse before the cart. We've hitched the cart up. We're just looking for someone to drive it. Congratulations to the West Coast, particularly the West Coast Council, to the Tourism Council of Tasmania, to the Cradle Coast Authority, and uh, especially to the people of Tasmania for supporting uh, this fantastic cause. And that railway is now still on track.